Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing. Well, I'm back on the river again, still trying to catch tench. And uh, tonight I'm not messing about. Um, I have my uh, MIDI Muscle Tech Power Pole. You've all seen me use it plenty of times. Um, a 22 solid elastic run through the top three, which is the equivalent, incidentally, of a, a normal top two on a modern pole, match pole. Um, so we're not messing about when it comes to elastics, because there's some severe snags. Hello. I'm making a film. So the main line is 10 pound Drennan extra tough. Uh, hook length is eight pounds of the same. Size 14, uh, super specialist wide gape, which is a real animal hook. Uh, I'm fishing at seven meters today. I've had a plum up and found a clear spot. Um, I'm going to uh, use good old um, pre-prepared Bonoffi flavour Sonia Bates Pro Expander pellets. Recommend these to anyone. Choose the flavouring of your choice. They match just about right with a size 14 hook. Have a small pole pot on the top of my pole and I shall feed very small balls of micro pellets. Now I've just introduced one about five minutes ago so I'm not going to introduce any more, I'm just going to go straight out and fish. Uh, the camera is at risk as always because it's jutting out as is my pole and here's a point I'd like to make for those who aren't necessarily pole anglers. Shipping a pole behind you is fine on a commercial or venues where you've got plenty of space. Here. I have limited space behind me, pedestrians, cyclists, runners, you name it, rowers in the river, I could go on. If you ship your pole straight back, you stand a good chance of snapping or having it snapped. So what I tend to do is I've got it slightly to one side and I shall break it down a couple of times. The landing net is set up parallel to the bank. Uh, again, for the same reasons, Jamie Hughes says he's horrified by people who have the landing net in that position, but if I have it out behind me, someone will either break it, run over it, kick it, or whatever. So, although Jamie Hughes is a wonderful angler, his advice is nearly always aimed at commercials. However, I'm fishing very much in the Jamie Hughes style with a very small ball um, I'll show you the size. I guess uh, a big grape size would be uh, probably smaller than my pole pot and would you believe I'm in straight away and I'll have a rower here so so I just lift your oar up thank you you're still on there uh, a rower just went over my line then but they were very courteous for which I'm extremely grateful and I'm not sure what I've got at the moment. Looks like a slab. What a surprise. Well, if it's a slab, it's fighting, Will. Bearing in mind, oh yes. Nice slab. Oh yes. Nice slab. Good fish.
there we have an absolutely pristine slab probably it's in very good condition and it weighs quite a lot getting on for four pounds well oh, I slipped a grain of sweet corn on and I think I've got a decent roach and you wouldn't have thought roach would take a, a bait on a eight pound line and there you go quality roach and uh, here we go again just another roach by the feel of it that's still a fish here we are Oh no, it's a big slab. <coughs> See if I can get this one out. Looks like a better slab. A slab. Ooh, good job I've got a strong landing net handle. That's a proper bream. Yet another small roach. Oh, mind you, these are quality fish. I'm happy about uh, catching roach, but I'm still after this tinch. <laughs> <laughs> 